hello again. I was just looking over my nose collection. And deciding which game to review next. Okay, I've decided. It's punch out for the nose. But not the punch out everyone so commonly knows. No. This is Mike Tyson's punch out. That's right, where you fight the big cheese himself. The then, heavyweight champion of the world. So watch that you don't get your ear bitten off. You play as a boxer called Little Mac, working his way up the pecking order in the boxing circuits, to, one day, become the world heavyweight champion, whilst wearing a pink tracksuit. I'm not a fan of boxing or sports games, but this one kicks ass. Come on, what other game lets Mike Tyson suddenly beat the crap out of you? Yes, you. You heard me correctly. The graphics are superb. And I like how the developers weren't afraid to have fun making the game. But they went a bit overboard when designing the characters. The characters in this game, have to be the most stereotyped I've ever seen in any NES game. You'll either find this hilarious, offensive or a bit of both. The choice is yours. I don't find it neither. As I'm a robot and I have no feelings. Moving on. As you progress through the circuits, you'll come across some oddballs. The strangest of which, is King Hippo. From Hippo Island, located in the South Pacific. What a fat bastard. Another oddball is Macho Man. Look at those pecs jiggle. But the one guy I can't stand, is Great Tiger, with that special move of his. He really pisses me off at times. However, it's just a case of getting the timing right along with finding out your opponent's weak spots. Take that, you fat bastard. And unlike Galaxy 5000, the developers actually encoded a password system. If you type in 8004222602, then you'll hear the sound of Nintendo's telephone line to customer services as it is when busy. If you press select, repeatedly in between the rounds of a match then you can refill your energy bar, but you can only use this technique once. There are rumors that Punch-Out was to have a sequel where Mike Tyson would kick some alien but... But the question everyone asks, why was Mike Tyson replaced by the game Mr. Dream? In later copies of Punch-Out, released after 1990, well, there are lots of myths about this, but the truth is, it was because his contract with Nintendo expired. It's as simple as that.